Welcome back to the Angus Report and this informational segment brought to you by our friends at Zoetis. I'm joined today by Kent Anderson, Associate Director of Technical Services for Zoetis, and Tanya Amen, Director of Genetic Services for the American Angus Association. Welcome to the program. Thank, Thank you. you. Today we're talking about recalibration. And Tanya, why don't you start by telling us what is recalibration? That sounds pretty technical. Sure. Uh, recalibration is an effort, uh, a co-effort, I should say, between our scientists in-house here at AGI as well as uh, the scientists at Zoetis. Um, and I guess simply stated, it is a recalculation and a reworking of the mathematics uh, that make the genomic technology go into the GEEPDs. So you know that the 50K technology has 50,000 different markers. So re re-estimate the effect of each of those markers and what it has on the traits of interest um, and how it influences uh, the GEEPDs. Simply stated, it makes the GEEPDs more powerful and it covers a broader swath of our pedigree each time we recalibrate. Yes, Tanya, and that's where we really have breeders to thank for Absolutely. adopting the technology. The technology builds upon itself, and so Crystal, the more that breeders use it, uh, the more information we have then to be able to make it describe the maximum amount of information possible or, or genetic merit possible. So that boosts accuracy all the more and um, helps to make it a more powerful tool to breeders over time as tested animals accumulate. So this more accurate information provided through the Zoetis HT50K test, how are producers then using that to make better uh, breeding decisions? Um, first and foremost, for commercial bull buyers of Angus, they can buy bulls with more confidence because their GE, genomic enhanced EPDs, now have higher accuracy. And that accuracy is equivalent to having a dozen to 15 daughters in production for maternal traits. So 15 to 20 offspring with growth and feed efficiency information. So for commercial Angus bull buyers, they just know that they can buy those bulls based on their predictions with more confidence because those predictions are more accurate. And then there's benefits as well then to the seed stock producer that's um, testing animals and particularly testing on the female side. It allows us to make genetic progress much quicker because we're finding those females much earlier in life that truly are genetic, genetically superior for those traits of interest. It takes more than a lifetime for her to achieve dependable levels of, of accuracy, even with the wealth of pedigree and performance information we have. So the Zoetis HD50K helps to bump that. And so testing replacements or females early in life then enables a lifetime of more informed mating decisions for those animals. So in light of the recalibration then, did breeders see much of a shift uh, within the genomic enhanced DPDs? Sure, that's a good question. I think uh, with calibration three, probably not as much as they may have in the past. Um, you know, that was trained on almost 40,000 animals. So we did not see the gigantic changes in um, correlations that we had before. But sure, on some of the lower accuracy animals, there may have been some shifting around based on the new marker effects of the new calibration. Uh, but as you'd expect, uh, the well-proven animals didn't move hardly at all. One of the cool new features, though, I think that we'd like to emphasize on the third calibration was the heifer pregnancy aspect of that. For the first time, the heifer pregnancy EPD uh, was genomically enhanced with this calibration. And um, what better way then than use of this technology to help get good accurate predictions for hard to measure things like heifer pregnancy and things that take a long time and are exp expensive to measure like um, determining mature cow size, milk production, and even beyond the maternal traits, things like growth and feed efficiency and carcass merit. Um, the technology I think really positions the breed and the adopter nicely to help contribute to the maternal regrowth of the base of the nation's cow herd. So where then can producers go to access um, the animals that have been tested with the Zoetis HT50K test? Well, 
uh, from the Angus perspective, angus.org is always a great resource to find the, that type of information, specifically the pedigree lookup feature. And you guys have a really nice resource also, Kent. Yeah, Zoetta sponsors or co-sponsors a website called genomeexchange.com. And it's a service that we provide customers of Zoetis HD50K whereby they can list information about their operation as well as information about cattle that have been tested that are available for sale. It'll be fun to watch the continued evolution of this technology, that's for sure. That's all the time we have today, but thank you both for coming in. Um, if you would like to know more about recalibration, Zoetis HD50K testing, or genomic enhanced DPDs, visit angus.org or zoetis.com. We'll be back with the Angus Report after this. This segment of the Angus Report is brought to you by Zoetis and GenomeExchange.com, your source for genetically tested Angus cattle. Genome Exchange provides a listing of Angus breeders involved in DNA testing and cattle that have been genomically evaluated. To learn more about the Zoetis HD50K, GeneMax, or Genomic Enhanced EPDs, visit GenomeExchange.com or Angus.org today. Recognize this? It's your $1 per head beef checkoff investment that does all kinds of things to help make sure consumers feel good about buying your beef. Like working with chefs around the world to create new beef recipes and put more beef on the menu. Or educating healthcare professionals about how beef fits into a healthy lifestyle. Or by helping you share your beef story with those who have questions about where their food comes from. Get to know your checkoff and start sharing your views at mybeefcheckoff.com. Mid-Continent Livestock Supplements provide high-quality, free-choice supplements for your cattle. The all-natural, high-performance, cooked molasses tubs allow you to control supplement intake, reduce waste, and lower your feed costs. MLS tubs are more than a supplement. It's a guarantee your cattle are getting their required daily supplement so you reach your production targets. Mid-Continent Livestock Supplements, the supplement your cattle deserve. Find out more at MLSTubs.com. Join us December 21st at the Jorgensen Land and Cattle Production Sale in Winter, South Dakota. The sale starts at 11 a.m. and features five decades of economic performance traits. And don't miss out on the Jorgensen Land and Cattle Bull Leasing Program, leasing more than 2,000 bulls annually. All backed by Jorgensen Land and Cattle's 60 years of genetic breeding, saving you money and eliminating risk. Visit JorgensenFarms.com to learn more. 